Investing is risky as fuck. Only invest what you are willing to lose mentally and financially. Put it in your budget. And if it goes over budget, don't invest. Hey guys, what's going on? Meet John here from World's Best Guys. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm uh, doing a meet Kevin thing. Anyways, I'm going to take you through one of these uh, homes. A fix and flipper friend of mine. He is having me market it for him. And so I'll show you what a real fix and flipper does. You know, this, this is what you, you need to do. You don't go and watch HGTV and get it. You were going to open this wall and open that wall and fucking get you bullshit fucking retards. But hey, people who fix and flip homes for a living, they love when people go and fuck up like that. You go buy a house for uh, a bunch of money on the MLS from a realtor, you're getting screwed both ways. Then you go and spend a bunch of money because you want to make it look amazing like HGTV. And, and then guess what? You end up living at your parents' house because you lost your house, you leveraged your house, you lost that house that you got. It's just a, a mess. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a quick view of what stuff should look like when you fix up a house, whether to flip it or to rent it, you know, I mean, especially in the lower end, if you're fixing up luxury houses, then of course it's going to be different, but luxury houses might not have as much margin as uh, dumpy houses that you can just get more affordably from auctions or tax sales or different kinds of things like that. You know, some people drive around and actually knock on doors. I've never known anyone personally who has gotten a house like that. And I've worked with a lot of flippers, but I don't know. I'm sure someone out there is selling their program so you can go out there and, oh, hey, look, these people are more likely to sell. Here, go, go put a note on their door. Yeah, go get shot in the head because they don't want to have an intruder. Anyways, here we go. I'll just give you a, a few video walkthrough samples of this house that I'm going to market and show you what you should be doing if you're thinking about fixing up a house. And right now in 2021, I mean, unless you're getting a really good deal and finding it off market and stuff like that, or just really good deal in general and the numbers work, then I would avoid this because the housing market has gone insane. Most people, they think, oh, it could go way higher, way higher, just so high, high. And then that's it. They just, then they get fucked and they live with their parents. So, all right, let's roll that B-roll. For the countertops, they've got like Formica or laminate, just basic cheap shit. No stainless steel appliances, the regular appliances, nothing fancy. They don't have a crazy bullshit farmhouse sink, just basic with a basic faucet. Basic fucking lighting, but it's nice. So they kept all the cabinets, they just repainted them white, new hardware, cheap same appliances, cheap flooring, vinyl plank or whatever, stick on, basic baseboards, and then you go with a basic vanity. They left the same one in there. To continue with the basic flooring, they left the carpet. It looked decent. They vacuumed it, and then they just repainted the place. All right, guys, so that's it. You leave everything basic, okay? You do the basic stuff. Paint, leave the carpet. I mean, don't throw a bunch of different types of flooring in. That's ridiculous. The hardest part, though, because you can easily, you know, know how to fix something up for a very affordable price, especially putting in some sweat equity yourself. But the hardest part about this stuff is actually finding the deals. It's really hard, all right? Some people are saying like, oh, you can just find deals all day long and this and that, but it's fucking full of shit. 